Hey, my name is Spitfire, and I'm here at Camp Mishawana. I am going to have a five series video to teach you a simple and effective way to share the gospel. In this first video, I'm gonna explain how to get the conversation started and how to go through the first color, which is the gold bead. Let's get started. Before you share the gospel with someone, it's important that you break the ice, that it's either someone you know, or you have some kind of conversation so that they feel comfortable with you. Here at camp, when you're sharing with your campers, that's gonna be simple. Their campers are gonna know and trust you and are gonna want to know what you have to say. But if you've never met the person, I'd suggest starting with a joke, a get to know you, or maybe a, hey, I see that you like the University of Michigan. Yeah, I'm go blue. Something like that to get it started. Once you've broken the ice, ask a simple question. May I share with you what the colors of this bracelet mean? By asking permission, you're putting the control in the person's seat that you're sharing with. They have the choice to walk away if they don't want to hear. That way you don't have to worry about talking too long or them wondering when you're going to be done. They can see the five beads in front of you and they can be done when they want to be done. So after you've broken the ice and asked permission, may I share with you what these colors mean, then let's get started with the first color. The gold is what we're going to start with. Now gold represents heaven. Did you know that the streets in heaven are made of gold? I'll often ask my friend, did you know that? It's not dirt or cement or gravel. It's made of gold. Wow. Heaven is an awesome place, but there's an important question to ask. Ask your friend, on a scale from 1 to 100, how sure are you if you died today that you would go to heaven? So 1 is unsure, 100 is very sure. Go ahead and ask him that. On a scale of 1 to 100, how sure are you if you died today that you'd go to heaven? After they give you a number, it's very important to ask them, why? Asking their friend why tells you where they're at. It lets you know what they're trusting. If they respond with, well, I'm a really good person and I do all the good things, they're probably trusting in their works for their salvation. If they say, well, my uncle's a pastor and I went to church, they're probably trusting in their family for their salvation. If they say, I know I'm not going to heaven, I'm not good enough, then they probably need to know about the grace and forgiveness of God and they might already be familiar with their sin. After you ask them why they chose the number they did, let's get started with explaining what the gold bead is all about. So we already said it's about the streets of gold in heaven. Well, who lives in heaven? God does. And what do we know about God? Go ahead and ask your friend, what do you know about God? They might answer with a variety of things, but there's four main points that we want to make sure get covered when we're talking about God. First, God is love. Most people know that from experience, but point that out. God loves them. Another good one, a second one, is that God is the creator. Genesis 1-1 tells us that. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Think about this. If a creator makes something, they love it and they care about it. God loves you because he made you. Just like an artist, if they take time and energy making a piece of art, if someone destroys it, that's going to make them sad. It's the same with God. He values you and loves you because he made you. So love, creator, those are good things. But let's get into two that I think are really important to know. The first is holy and the second is just. Let's look about what the Bible says about God being holy. Isaiah 5.16 says, But the Lord Almighty will be exalted by his justice, and the holy God will be proved holy by his righteous acts. If your friend doesn't know what holy means, take the time to explain. Holy means set apart. If I had a hundred campers and I took one of them and put them over on the other side of the camp, that one camper would be set apart, different from the rest. They would be holy in this case. But with God, his holiness is that he is set apart from sin. God can't be around sin, and that's going to come into play further in our discussion. So you know that God is love, he's the creator, and he's holy. Also tell your friend that God is just. The word just means a good judge. It's a little bit different than being fair. Fair means that everyone gets the same amount or gets treated equally. Just means that everyone gets what they deserve. Well, God is a good judge. He is just. Again, holy and just are going to come into play in the conversation a little while later, but you want to establish what we know about God from the very beginning. So to recap, with the gold bead, first you get to know your friend, maybe do an icebreaker question, then ask permission to share the colors. Once you've gotten their permission, tell them that the gold stands for heaven because of the streets of gold. Ask them if they died, how sure are they that they would go to heaven from 1 to 100, and why? After they give your answer, 
then go ahead and tell them about God. Ask them what they know and share with them the four things. God is love, creator, holy, and just. It's important that this is a back and forth conversation, not just a monologue of you telling them. Give them a chance to answer and keep them engaged. That's gonna help you as you go on. Hopefully this intro video was helpful. We're gonna move on with four more videos explaining the other four colors of the gospel beads. I'm Spitfire and this is Upbeat Bible with Spitfire.